I was fond of Lismore before the flood, but watching how it has responded to the flood, we can learn from that. Be motivated more by compassion, share your stuff rather than holding your stuff. And tax the rich. And tax the rich, yeah. This is our street. On the day of the flood, the water was to the roof up there. About half a dozen houses in the street have got people living in. It's got a good motor, it's ready to go. As I became aware of the living conditions of the people who were still in town, we started a grassroots group in this room that we called Insulate Lismore, and we started to line the houses of people in the town. So we had to take all these wall linings out, that the house was a complete skeleton mostly i lined it myself and then the kitchen i like it in this room i can get a bit of peace in here and yeah, the pod villages i guess they're a practical and realistic solution to being homeless but they're not an attempt to facilitate a feeling of safety and happiness people are talking about emergency housing i want to talk about homes i want to talk about people going into homes where they feel safe you know I've left flood, flood mud, like that's flood mud. I refuse to wash it off, you know? There's little bits of the flood left behind. You know, when the flood happened here, for me, it started here almost in this room and it got bigger. You know, it became the whole town and then the towns around us. You know, I didn't know what the fuck was going on. You need to be a little bit prepared. You need to wake up and start putting pressure on the government. You need to start asking for effective policies on climate change. Um, you know, we need to all push for that stuff before it's too late.